my name is Amy Wilbanks and I'm the Lotion Account Sales Manager here at Master Tanning. Today we're here to talk to you about how to get a great tan indoors. Now we're going to discuss the importance of using tanning lotion. Without the use of tanning lotion, you do lose some of your tan time. Dry skin reflects the UV light. You can lose up to 50% of your tanning session. There are quite a few different types of tanning lotions. They are accelerators, bronzers, and tingles. You want to make sure you apply the different types of tanning lotions in the correct order to prevent from hitting your tanning wall. You always want to start with your accelerator. From the accelerator you want to move to a bronzer. From the bronzer you want to move to a tingle. Each lotion type does something different. You always want to start with an accelerator because it does not contain any bronzers and it does have all the important ingredients that will help nourish your skin and maintain its moisture. From the accelerator, you want to move to a bronzer. You will know when it is time for you to move once you hit your tanning plateau or your tanning wall. That is when you tan and tan and you feel that you are not getting any darker. You want to move to the bronzers because the bronzers have added ingredients in there which will make your melanin naturally change color and also bronzers will add color to your skin. You don't want to use a bronzer when you first start tanning due to the fact that you don't have a tan base so the bronzers can make you look a little orange. So you want to use those as the second step. From a bronzer, you want to move to a tingle. You want to be careful when you do move to a tingle lotion that you do understand what a tingle lotion is going to do. A tingle lotion is going to bring the oxygen up to the surface of your skin to help oxidize your skin cells, which do help them tan faster, hold their color longer, and tan darker. A tingle lotion is going to make your skin a little red and it's going to feel itchy. That itch and redness can last up to two to three hours after your tanning session. You do not want to jump in the shower immediately after using a tingle tanning lotion because it will reactivate the tingle. Also, when you are using a tingle lotion, you want to make sure you do start out with one of the lower forms of tingle and then you can move yourself up. If you do figure out that you have used a tingle and now you are at a tanning wall, you can also jump back down to a bronzer or you can jump down to an accelerator because it's just like with anything, your body will get used to it and you do need to switch up. When applying your tanning lotion, you want to make sure you apply it at least 10 to 15 minutes before your tanning session. That way it allows it time to absorb into the skin and moisturize your skin. Also, when you are applying your tanning lotion, you want to make sure you do rub it in evenly. If you don't rub it in evenly and you slather it on your skin, you will cause yourself to streak with a bronzer or a tingle. So that's the importance of wearing tanning lotion. Be bronze, be you, beautiful.